Good morning. Welcome to our service of morning prayer. I hope you're all well today. Um, as you can see from the screen, uh, on this day, the church um, celebrates the festival of St Gregory the Great, who is Bishop of Rome and an uh, important teacher of the faith. And so we pray with him and we pray with all the saints today, uh, asking for God's renewing grace and his presence. And so let us pray. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all. To you be glory and praise forever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, and in these last days you have spoken to us in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts, your Spirit ever renew our lives, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Alleluia. Give praise, you servants of the Lord. O oh, praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. From this time forth and forevermore, from the rising of the sun to its setting. Let the name of the Lord be praised. The Lord is high above all nations, and his glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God that has his throne so high, yet humbles himself to behold the things of heaven and earth, he raises the poor from the dust, and lifts the needy from the ashes to set them with princes. With the princes of his people, he gives the barren woman a place in the house, and makes her a joyful mother of children. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. So a reading from the Book of Acts. Now as Peter went here and there among all the believers, he came down also to the saints living in Lydda. There he found a man named Aeneas, who had been bedridden for eight years, for he was paralysed. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you, get up and make your bed. And immediately he got up. And all the residents of Lydia, Lydda and Sharon saw him and turned to the Lord. Now in Joppa, there was a disciple whose name was Tabitha, which in Greek is Dorcas. She was devoted to good works and to acts of charity, and at that time she became ill and died. When they had washed her, they laid her in a room upstairs. Since Lydda was near Joppa, the disciples who heard that Peter was there sent two men to him with the request, Please come to us without delay. So Peter got up and went with them, and when he arrived, they took him to the room upstairs. All the windows, widows, stood beside him, weeping and showing tunics and other clothing that Dorcas had made while she was with them. Peter put all of them outside, and then he knelt down and prayed. He turned to the body and said, Tabitha, get up. Then she opened her eyes, and seeing Peter, she sat up. He gave her his hand and helped her up, and then calling the saints and widows, he showed her to be alive. This came, became known throughout Joppa, and many believed in the Lord. Meanwhile, he stayed in Joppa for some time with a certain Simon, a tanner.
Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. Let us pray. And so we pray for the day ahead. We pray for all that we must do. We pray for all those whom we meet. And we pray for the world that God loves. But first we give thanks. We give thanks to God for the new mercies which greet us every morning. The blank slate of a day which lies ahead of us with all of its possibilities for rest, for care, and for all the blessings of human contact. We give particular thanks to God for his immeasurable mercy in the gift of Jesus Christ. in the promise of salvation, the hope of glory, and for his presence along the way. And so a prayer for the church. Loving God, we pray for your church who you have called in the world to be the sign and the foretaste of your kingdom. We pray for Christians everywhere, but especially for those who lead, that they would lead with wisdom and with care and above all with faithfulness. Grant that we might be united in one faith as one body, sharing one baptism and serving one Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And a prayer for the world, and especially for schools, colleges and universities social services and local government. We pray for our own parish council and for Joe who has been mobilising so many people these past few months. We ask that God would bless her. We pray for social services, whether governmental or informal or voluntary. We remember age concern and ask that God would bless all those uh, who are involved. We pray for the schools. We 
We give thanks for our own school. And we pray that God would bless those who teach. God would keep them safe. God would bless the children. And we pray for universities. And we pray particularly for those universities who have been hit by the exam um, um, uh, controversy. For those whose enrolments will be low. For those who are dependent particularly upon foreign students who won't be coming. And we ask that... Um, that God would enable our universities to become refuges of learning in this world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those in any sort of need especially those known to us. We pray particularly for those who are suffering from financial effects of the coronavirus pandemic, those who might have lost their jobs, those who are suffering from low wages, or especially those who are self-employed, and, uh, and those whose um, period of being without childcare has affected them particularly badly. We pray for those in any sort of domestic stress or violence or unhappiness. We pray for those who are lonely. We pray for those who are continuing to shield. We pray for those who have lost someone. And we ask that God would be with all these people. We pray for those who are sick or who are in need of medical care or who are receiving medical care. We thank God for Margaret Whipp's ongoing recovery and we pray for her. We pray for Reverend Paul Child. We pray for Reverend Paul Smith. We pray for Carol Heathwhite. We pray for Phoebe. We pray for Chris Bayliss. We pray for anyone else known to us who is ill or in need of treatment. And we also pray for those who have died and those who mourn. We pray for the family of John Hodinot who was interred at Berwick last week. We pray for the family of Suzanne Jackson who will be interred at Chalgrove next week. We pray for David Vile whose funeral is later this month and we pray especially for Jean, his wife and ask that God would be with her we pray for David's sister and ask that God would comfort her. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, you chose Bishop Gregory to be a servant of the servants of God. Grant that, like him, we may ever long to serve you by proclaiming your gospel to the nations, and may ever rejoice to sing your praises through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And so may the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. So thank you for tuning in for morning prayer this morning. I hope you have a lovely day. God bless you. Stay safe. And hope to see you at church in coming weeks.